Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm going to do full face of makeup using the Do Care brushes or brush set and this is the Do Care 27 piece, piece makeup brush set and if you want to hear my thoughts about this and what I feel about the brushes, how they work, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I saw, I saw the ad on Instagram for these brushes and of course pictures were amazing and there were very good reviews on the website. I had to check it out a little bit more. So I went to the website, I read a little bit about it. They say they're cruelty free, but there are some brushes that do have the animal hair, goat hair. Uh, I think there is two or three brushes in this set, but they say they're cruelty free. So. You can go on the website, I will put the link down below and check it out by yourself. But they had an offer for 50% off during uh, last month. Um, and of course I used the coupon and bought the brush set because it looked so beautiful. They had this one in black or in this deeper red shade. Now, burgundy shade, I don't know what you would call it. but. I was very curious because I do have plenty of brushes, I have different price rate but I always want to find a very good quality for better quality for cheaper so you can actually afford brushes and change them after a while when you feel like you need new set because some brushes are very expensive and I really couldn't find a brush that's so expensive that's actually worth the money so I'm all about brushing and it's all about a Ford brush set. Now this came in this cute packaging. Now it did take a couple of weeks to arrive so it was a little bit longer shipment but it doesn't really bother me. It says they are made in China. I will show you the back. Sorry for my nails. I had to take off my gel nails and I had, didn't have time to go and fix my natural nails and I broke this one if you can see it hurts. So sorry for that but and this is how it looks. I'm kind of curious to find out how they really work. I want to open them and show you how everything looks inside. And I can see there is some papers in here. Okay, some cards. Oh yes, instructions. This is what I really like. Instruction about the brushes. And they do have it in English too. So. Oh my god, the smell. Doesn't smell good, I have to be honest. Doesn't smell good. But I'm going to f do my makeup with this. So if you're interested to see how they work, then continue watching me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. It means a lot to me. And uh, let's see, the f we need a brush that can apply foundation. Yeah, round foundation brush and flat foundation brush. So let's see if we can find them. Now they don't have numbers on these unfortunately but look how cute they are. This is the flat foundation brush. Yeah they do have a scent. Maybe you should wash your brushes before using them. I won't do that in this video but I will recommend you to do that. And you can see the handle. I know, they, they feel soft. Now this is the round foundation brush. So I'm going to use one, I'm going to use this round for the primer and I'm going to use flat one for the foundation. My milk that I'm almost out of. It feels soft. I don't usually do my foundation or uh, primers with brush, but I'm doing this for the video. So let's see. They feel very soft. The, the bris bristles, can't speak, feel very soft. And it feels like it covered the whole face. I can feel uh, the cold from the primer so it feels like it actually primed and then I will try and use this primer too, Tarte. I will also 
try to kind of just dip into well, that feels nice well it feels like it covered everything so I do like that I like this brush so far for this let's see how this is going to go on for the foundation and for the foundation I think I want to use this one Lancome I think I have a little bit left of it so I want to use it up so let's go right into there and I do have a mirror here somewhere I have so many videos to film guys and so many uh, Christmas calendars so if you want to see that please subscribe and hit the notification bell oh this is not the best shade for me, but I'm not going anywhere so today. So, oh, I really like how this is spreading the foundation. It doesn't leave any streaks, not what I can see. I like that. I'm going to use it on the rest of the face. I kind of like how this uh, brush did the foundation on my face actually. I don't like how it, the foundation sits on my nose but that doesn't have anything to do with the brush. I have to say if you didn't see any of my other videos I'll uh, give you a suggestion to do that because you'll see that I do have a problem with my nose that it kind of doesn't want to hold the foundation in place. Okay, so this foundation is a little bit darker than I need, than my skin, of course. So I'll go in with some concealer and let's see if we have a concealer brush. We have a large concealer brush and that is, well, I don't know what that is. I think this is the large concealer brush. So some of them are packed like this. This reminds me of um, like a foundation brushes. I don't usually like these as a foundation brushes. I know some people really like them and uh, makeup artists use them, but I'm not a really big fan. I don't know how they make it work. So I'm going to go a little bit with a Tarte Shape Tape. And of course, I'm going to use another one a little bit lighter. So let's see how this is going to work. Ooh very soft. Oh, I love it for the concealer. It's very soft and it blends concealer very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it blends concealer very nice. It doesn't hurt under the eyes because my under eyes or everybody's under eyes are very sensitive and the skin is very sensitive so I feel like this is really nice for the concealer I really like this brush for the concealer I need a little bit lighter shade to make this bright just a dot dot of the elf elf hydrating camo concealer this one is light so that's bright Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And I haven't used a uh, sponge at all. Sometimes when I use brushes, I do like to go over, over with the sponge, but I haven't felt like I need that right now. So that's nice. Like that. Really like that. Okay, let's see everything before it starts moving around. I have two brushes that can be used for powders. Or blush, of course. This one. And then we have this big blush, this big face brush, but I'm going to use a cream product. So I'm going to use this kind of brush and use some Linda Halberry powder to set my under eyes. It picks up a lot of powder. Oh, so soft very nice very soft 
I like it. I like this brush too. It feels very nice on the face. We have a contour brush. It's a, like, like a flat brush. I like using this to contour with. And I am going to go and use this uh, cream bronzer from Chanel. So let's go in with that. Oh, so they are very soft. All of the brushes are very soft. It feels like it really blends everything nice on the skin. It doesn't leave any streaks. None of the brushes do that. And I think I've paid around $24, $25 for this set. And I think the shipping was... I don't know if I got shipping free or if I paid like $5 for the shipping. I'm not really sure, but I know it was very affordable. And I couldn't wait to for this product to arrive or these brushes so I can use them. I'm very impressed with the brushes so far. I want to use uh, the black brush that we use for the primer to kind of go in and bronze up my skin a little bit more with this bronzer. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. This one picks a little bit more product. The other one is perfect for the nose contour. I'm doing this so you can see how they really work on the skin I'm, and I also zoomed you guys very close so you can see my face and everything. I don't hide. This is a channel where I don't hide things. This is the channel where I try things. I'm not a makeup artist but I love playing with makeup. I love trying products and I want people to see how it's really working and I'm not sponsored or anything I just love makeup spending money on makeup spending my time on makeup just love that so I think this is looking very nice of course we're going to set the bronzer but I'm really enjoying this so far so I'm going to set the bronzer with the brush that we use for setting the under eyes and I'm going to go in with the, this Essence Matte Bronzer. This one is also very nice. Okay, we're going to use a blush. And I am going to do makeup look, like glam Halloween red makeup look that I had on last week when I was on a birthday party. And uh, I got requested to do it on camera. To, make, to show you guys because there are some people that really want to see that. Uh, so I am going to, of course, go in. Uh, I am going to use a little bit of Buxom blush. And let's see if we can find a blush brush. There is one, I think. I think it's this one. They are so nice back. Yes, this is the blush brush. Soft like all of them picks up product you don't need a lot of this product because this is re very pigmented I can see that this is blending this blush very nice I'm impressed I'm impressed I'm impressed okay so far so good let's remove all of this so it doesn't bother me because I have it everywhere right now doesn't look nice okay so hmm. We are going in with the um, highlighter, and I think there is a big highlighter brush. It's this one. I love these brushes for highlighter. Jaclyn Hill. Can you see it? Yes, there it is. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette, which I really enjoy. And I'm going to go in with this highlighter here. Oh, yes. It's blending the highlighter very nice. So I'm going to go in and fill my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back now. They don't look perfect, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to go and apply the um, 
I should have primer. Now I'm filming a video where I try around 20 different eyeshadow primers and I'm going to review them on my channel, tell you what it what works, what doesn't work. Now I did that kind of video for like two years ago and it's one of my most watched and I think it's time for an update. Now I'm trying other over 20 different primers, eyeshadow primers for oily eyelids so kind of curious about that. But one of them is the Pretty Vulgar. And I did use it already once, but I want to try it again again today again. So because I do try them like two, three times before not two, three times at least before I do the video. I want to give you my honest opinion. And then I write down everything in a book or I keep like a journal, my YouTube journal. And I do set all of my eyeshadow primers. I do set them because I did find out after creating that video that it always lasts longer if I set it. Okay, so now we are going to go into the eyeshadows. Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay Palette. And I'm going to use the reds and the pinks. So let's go in. It's going to be a challenge for the brushes. Okay, I need to remove all of these. This is a flat one. We don't need that one right now. But we do need an angle of this one. See what we have to play with. Okay, guys, so this is all of the face brushes. You can see. There you go, they're different. And these are also eyeshadow brushes, but goat hair and synthetic hair. But there are plenty of eyeshadow brushes. So. I'm going to use as many as I can today and I actually want to go in with uh, this brush here. I don't know what number it is but it doesn't have on the handle which I kind of miss. I would love if it had the number. But I'm going to go in this red shade here that it's called McKay from the palette. Let's see. The brush feels very soft on the eyelid, which is a big plus. And it feels and it looks and feels like it really does what it's supposed to do with this pigment. I have to be honest, it feels like it applied the eyeshadow. It's the same brush that I used on this set, but it feels like it applied the eyeshadow or pigment a little bit better than it did on this first eye. Like it took it a little bit of, um, like it needs to be warmed up or something, but look at the difference. Can you see that? And it's the same brush, so I'm very impressed. I'm going to use this with a go of, made of gold hair and I'm going to go in blend and snap the pink shade. And what I want to do is blend the edges with that shade. It feels soft. Then I'm going to go in with this brush that it's a little bit more dense and I'm going to go into Slasher, the dark purple shade. I'm going to go in with the same brush that we used before for applying the red, it just kind of, without adding more red, I blend the edges. Let's see if we have a flat. I think I want to use this short flat one. I'm going to go in with the Pride shade. With this brush. I don't know if it's going to pick up a lot of product. I know, let's see if it's going to do that. It's picking up the product, but not enough. So I'm going to go in with my finger because these shades are best you applied with the finger. So let's see if we can uh, remove fallout. Yeah, a little bit, but I did a mistake of doing my face before I went in uh, with this 
PayPal because I knew this will leave me fallout. So I'm going to go in with the eyeliner. I got one of my friend Valerie last time we did a box swap in September and I really like this cream eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with this brush, this one, and apply the eyeliner. It does pick up a lot of product. This is working great. I think this works very nice for the eyeliner. It applied eyeliner beautifully without any problem. It doesn't pull my eye. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I do need to go in a little bit more with powder and try to remove some of the fallout because I do have plenty of fallout. So let's see this powder brush if we can. So I am going to go in and uh, do my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with eyelashes. Let's go in. I'm going to use these brushes to do some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in Mickey, the red one, and I am going to go in with this one that's a little bit flat. I don't know if you can see, just to smudge it very close to the lower lash line. And stupid of me, I already applied mascara on the bottom low lash line. I don't know what I did that. Reflex maybe, I have no idea. So I'm going to go in all the way. Over here. And use the, bl the blend and snap the pink one and blend the edges. And then I'm going to go in with the smaller and go into purple slasher and use that on the first half of the eye here in the corner and very close to the lower lash line. One third of the eye, not go all the way. This is working very nice. I do need to go in and highlight the inner corner. So I am going to use another small brush and I'm going to go into Ivy, I think it's called. Yes, and pop that here. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's intense. So guys, sorry for my messy hair, but this is the final look using all of the brushes, almost all of the brushes from this Do Care brand that comes into the in this set. Now, I really liked every brush that I used. There are a couple of brushes that I haven't used yet, but I think they did an amazing job uh, applying the, my makeup. I need to check out more of their br brushes. My hair is kind of messy today. I need to wash it to fix it, but let's just go with the flow <laughs> okay guys so this is the final look i think the brushes worked beautifully i think they're worth the money and i think you you should check it out so i will link, put the link down below and the instagram name of the brand so go check it out give a thumbs up if you like this video give a thumbs up if you want to see me trying more of their products more of their brushes please let me know down below don't forget to see, subscribe hit the notification bell and I see my next video. I love you all. Bye guys.